Hi, this is Colin from Mailshake, and today I want to go over an exciting new feature called A-B testing. Basically, A-B testing is a way to segment your campaigns, so some recipients receive one version of the campaign, some recipients receive another version, and you can test subject line changes or message verbiage or even different follow-ups and different sequences. So we're going to do a quick example here. Drop in some recipients. Okay, so in our example, we're going to have a fun drone gadget that we're trying to uh, sell. So we're going to set up a few messages here. We'll set a follow-up for seven days later. And that's really all we want to do for this, this campaign. But let's go test a different version of this so we can see maybe there are some tweaks we can do to improve performance. So we'll turn on A-B testing, and it lets you copy from an existing segment. So we have our A segment that we just created. Um, we might just want to duplicate that, or we can start completely fresh. So we're going to copy from the uh, original segment. Now we're going to have a B segment, and we're going to make some tweaks. We're going to change the subject line, and we're going to leave the message the same. And then we're going to change the follow-up period to five days. And then we're actually going to add a third follow-up that we won't have in segment A. We'll call that six days later, and just because this is an example, we're going to make this really simple. So Mailshake is going to take our recipient list that we've added, and it's going to split it up relatively evenly between the, the different segments that we created. So we can see here Freddie Lee has... Um, the first sequence, he's got those two messages, and if we advance to about the sixth recipient, we're going to see segment B for this recipient. So let's go ahead and get this thing sent. Okay, it's been some days later and our campaign has gone out. The overview page shows the different segments at the top for you to switch between. So we can look at the funnel for just segment A here and we can see the open stats and the click stats and all that specifically for that sequence. So we can see we've got a 40% open rate. And then we can switch to segment B and see we've had a little bit higher open rate here and a little higher open rate in the follow-up too. Um, so we can just sort of see maybe segment B uh, has done better. So maybe that's a better segment to use for the next time we run this campaign. The other thing you can look at here is the timeline, which is great to show you what, ha what happened, what sending happened. So segment A, uh, you can see the follow-ups going out, and segment B has a different sequence. Um, you can see those going out. Then on the recipients page, we have a new column called segment, so you can see segment A, B, see who's assigned to which segment. Um, you can filter by those segments, so if you just want to take a look at one segment at a time, you can do that. And one other really useful thing to do is export your campaign. That will include the segment in that data, so you can filter recipients by segment and, and uh, analyze the performance of your segments. So that's really it in the crash course of A-B testing and how that works. Thanks very much.